Who cares, bro? I'm just gonna look at you. This is my room's a mess. Gone. Let me find a beat that I'm about to fucking spaz on. First day, y'all don't catch a wreck on hoes. Yo, this shit's about fire, bro. Yo, for real, bro. This Yo, who's shit's that? Who's fire, that? bro. Yo, let him know who that is, bro. Let ladies and gentlemen, is. ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is my my boy, my brother. That's my boy, Lex Finesse. That man is nasty. He's from uh, he's from Chelsea, Massachusetts. Created some great Chelsea music. Rapper. Just fucking amazing talent. Yo, that guys, shit bumps, bro. You trying to get crazy? Bro. I know, like, that Ooh, shit. Yo. First, uh, the dude, yo, he's a fucking beast, yo. bro. I'm telling you, Lex is a fucking beast. He's a bro. He's amazing. Beast, bro. bro. Talented, bro. bro. I'm about to, yo, I'm trying to have these sipping Don Julio with with him, bro. Yeah, no bullshit, yo. We gotta have him on for sure. We gotta have that man on, bro. Just talk about the journey, bro. That should be crazy, bro. Yo, yo it's a crazy. That's gonna be a crazy episode, ladies and gentlemen. But yo, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Another quarantine episode of the messy room. My room's a mess. Live. My room's a mess. Our messy rooms. Yup, the messy room. Our messy rooms. Shout out to our we messy back. rooms. We're back and better than ever because we are always getting better. Yo, actually, yo, I think somebody else had that quote already. Now that I, I saw it, I saw it. not that quote but something similar to it i don't really remember exactly what it was but it was like it was like uh oh wait it's in this book no nah, i'm not gonna be able to find it that quick <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. no nah, but it was like it's like it's like uh uh every day you get better some shit like that and i was like yo all right, but we're yeah, exactly. we're always getting better. What is it? We're, I forgot. Fuck. <laughs> better than ever. We're, oh yeah, we're, we're back. Oh yeah, yeah. better than yeah, ever yeah, yeah. because we're always getting. better. Yeah, we're better, better than ever because we're always getting better. That's that's different than that's better every day. Whatever you said, bro. I mean, you do literally get better every day. That's why we're back better than ever we're because we're always getting better. Yesterday, I wasn't as good as I am today because today I'm better. Of course, of course, boom, of course, bro. There we go, bro. How how you doing, bro? I haven't seen you in like two months, bro. <laughs> Two months for real, yo. It's been nah, it's been like a month. It's been like a month. I haven't seen you. Month? Nah, it's been a couple, like three weeks. Three bro. weeks. Three weeks. That's just crazy, yeah. bro. We usually chilling yo. all the time, bro. This is weird, I know. bro. Yo, you know what's crazy? Like, like back, back in, back in the day, like, like a year ago when we started this shit. Yeah. When we were chilling every day, bro, chilling. Like, it was ev- just bro. like on the same page every single day. But we, our minds like, were like, like, bro, intertwined, bro. Like, yo, there was, yo. Jason didn't go nowhere without me, bro, and I didn't go nowhere without Jason, bro. This shit was crazy. Other than work in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, it. yeah, no shit, bro. <laughs> 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 I love, bro. <laughs> nah, but yo, that shit's crazy, bro. And like now, bro, I be just stuck at home, bro. Dude, I'm I'm saying that we be, we don't even talk every day now. Yeah, That's like crazy, it, it's bro. weird. Like, uh, j- ladies and gentlemen, like usually, like before, we used to just fucking uh, we used to plan our episodes and like um talk, bro. Actually, talk and chill. Now we're like texting each other, and it's kind of weird. Like, as Jason, Jason fucking hates my texting. My, I, I'm ass. I never answer him. <laughs> bro, what what I hate about texting you is that you be getting tight because I'm I'm always sarcastic, and I'm, because I'm sarcastic, but you don't get it through text. So you're just like, yo, why you being? Uh, I know. I always think you're mad, bro. I know. I always think you're mad. Why you tight? <laughs> I always think you're mad. Nah, and like. Bro, like I'll see it and then I'll I'll think I'll message you or I'll I'll be like oh I'll get to it in like two minutes and then it fucking three hours pass by. Bro, that's what I'm and saying. Then that's and like, then, and it's then. literally, <laughs> it's like literally, yo, Victor, three six, three o'clock, bro. Jason, nine p.m., bro. Yeah. Victor, five in the morning. That's the weird. <laughs> always waking up at random ass times, five in the morning, two in the morning. Bro, I'm my like, sleep is fuck? fucking terrible. Bro, bro, this is my third cup of coffee today. I've been fucking. Uh, bro, I feel like every week. We uh, we come back and we're talking some shit and then we're all like, yo, I gotta sleep, fix my sleeping schedule. Yeah, bro. bro, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know, yo, if you guys have any tips, like, let me fucking know, cause I haven't been able to sleep in so long. I let, my sleep is like, yo, as Jason, as don't drink three cups of coffee. Shut the fuck up. I do whatever I want, I, bro. It legit is the caffeine. I'm just telling but you, but yo, I can't stay awake, bro. Like literally, you like if can't stay awake, I can't, bro. So you can't stay awake and you can't stay asleep. So what are you like in the, in between? Oh shit, yeah, bro, my fault. I can't fucking, I be sleepy, bro. I, like I. Can't. <laughs> 
I'm sleepy, but I can't sleep. What the hell? Yeah, bro. Like, I can't, I can't, like, bro, I be struggling to stay awake, bro. That's why I drink mad coffee. Like, I just. Well, you got drink tea, bro. Drink tea? Yeah, is that the switch? Is that what I need to do? Tea, bro. I don't know. I just like it. Nah, no bro. joke. Like, I like tea, bro. Bro, all, all the all the smart people that drink tea, bro. So? There you go. Maybe it just makes you smarter. Nah, you hear this, ladies and gentlemen? You hear this? Yeah, they're here, bro. Yo, nah, so... So, yo, what... Nah, just well, so, stay up? close to the mic, because I couldn't hear you, bro. Yeah, nah, I was putting the cup Yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good. Nah, but yo, bro, like, I'm telling you, how you fucking... What you been doing, bro? What you been up to, bro? Uh, Quarantining, bro? Quarantine, quarantine. I got literally nothing to do anymore, bro. Jesus, and especially bro. now now that now that we're recording on Friday, and I basically got to edit in, like, three days, I literally don't do anything throughout the week. I got to find something, like, make me productive. Okay. But I mean, I'm still reading, bro. I started listening to more music this week, trying to keep myself entertained, bro. Yo, bro. bro I, like, so like one one part of me, like, I'm kind of happy, like, bro. I've been listening to a lot of podcasts, bro, and I've been just I've been just trying to learn like more like interview skills and stuff like that. L- watching a lot of like hot ones, bro. A lot of Joe Rogan. Uh, but then I, I want like I've been watching a lot of like just podcasts in general, just to just to see what the fuck they talk about and see like how how they're just flowing, and like uh, but like, bro, because I've been just paying attention to so much podcast bro i'm not hip to music bro drake came out bro and i've only listened to like bro. maybe three songs bro nah i'm telling you the first time i listened to it was was like it was whatever i was like i the, for the there was like two those two tracks between the future tracks i was like those were kind of boring bro the, okay there was like but obviously like and some of the most of the songs already came out he like he dropped those two songs um when what when to say when and Chicago Freestyle had already dropped. Okay. Tusi Slide had already dropped. Desires was was like leaked already. So it was like half the tracks were already out. So it wasn't like too so interesting. But but you know, the more then I listened to it again. I don't know what made me want to listen to it again, but I listened to it again. I don't know. It just started bumping that. For real, the only the only album I'll say I've been hip to, bro, is the weekend's album, bro. That album is crazy, bro. Literally. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, yo. All right, all right. Go ahead. Give me, give me your. All take right, all right. No joke, like, bro. It's just like, yo, the weekend is just so relatable, bro. Like, if you've ever been in like a relationship, or if you've ever just like had heartbreak or something, like, a week, the weekend has a song for you, bro. That's gonna fucking just smack you across the face, bro, and like hit you in the guts. You know what I mean? Like, he's just a fucking beast, bro. Like, and he produced it too. Like, that's even more amazing, bro. That's why, like. I find yo no bullshit yo those beats are crazy bro, the, bro. The I listen beat drops, I listen to bro, it again like, today bro but, yeah. nah 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 ladies and gentlemen I'm not I'm not gonna lie let me let me tell you let me tell you. the first time I listened to it I don't know it just wasn't interesting to me I I listened to I listened to it like like uh, until I got to Snow Child yeah and then like it was forgettable after that for me I didn't I don't even remember listening to it but I was also busy while I was listening to okay. it okay then and it uh, hit you it hit you. Ago, then a couple days ago, bro, I was in my feelings, bro, sitting on the couch. Yeah. Yo, and those beats, the harmonies. Bro, oh, my God. All the, the sounds were just like, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I definitely, I have to go, bro. I have to go. Like, when, when obviously, when this when this quarantine is lifted, bro. And, like, bro, I definitely want to, I wanted to go to Toronto, bro, and watch him do it in, in his home, bro. I wanted to, like, travel. That shit's probably I, different, Yeah, bro. I wanted That's to only travel, different. like, because, bro, I went to Cousin Stiz, bro, and you know how he's from Boston, bro? And, th- bro, that yeah, concert yeah, yeah. is, like, bro, that shit was so fucking crazy. You feel crazy. home, bro. Yeah, like, put on for and he was city, just, bro. like, he was just, like, yo, I'm fucking home, Boston. So imagine, like, the weekend, like, that, especially the album, bro, that, bro, the album, and then, like, bro, he's in his hometown, like, bro, he must be singing, like, Full, like, you know what I mean? Like, like, so, cause so, I feel like sometimes, like, people, like, artists get bored, bro, and they're just doing the tour just to do the tour, bro, just to get paid. Yeah. But, like, yo, when you're in your hometown, it hits different. And I definitely want to go see them in Toronto, bro. Where, where we out? We out, bro, or what? Well, we out. I mean, let's do it, let's bro. Let's do it, bro. If you're paying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man's face changed real quick, bro. What the hell? If you're paying. Nah. bro. Nah. Nah, yo, nah, but I'm telling you, bro. I don't know. Scared to live, bro. That track is crazy. Bro. That that dude, uh, I don't even remember how it goes now. Um, bro, the deluxe when missing you came out. Oh my god, bro. Yo. I, it was like it's like something like I said your name by mistake and I act like I was confused. Bro, I was <laughs> I was like, yo, that shit hit me mad hard. I was like, damn, bro. I was about to make some phone calls, bro. Start fucking crying oh, and shit. That XO life, bro. Yeah, bro. He's a fucking beast for sure. 
So how you been, bro? I'm chilling, bro. How you feeling, bro? Honestly, bro, like I've just been, bro, I've been listening to just mad uh, podcasts, like I said, and just watching mad documentaries, bro. And I've been, bro, reading the Harry Potter series, bro. Oh, I, I, oh, I've i been watching the movies bro, this week, too. Bro, I got, uh, I just finished one. They got to uh, Diagon Alley, bro. And like, bro, it's like, it's like. From what book? From what the book? The first one, the first one. Uh, that's like, bro, that's like 40, like, that's not even like 40 pages in, bro. No, nah, it's 80 pages in. 80 pages? Oh shit! I read that. I it's cause I read I read that on the Audible. Like it's like just like a continuous. You just keep scrolling and reading. Okay, I don't okay. even know yeah, how many it's pages like, it's I like, read. It's like eighty pages. Yeah, but but yeah, bro. Uh, bro, and the detail is crazy. Yeah, that's bro. what I was gonna say, bro. It's not even like, bro. He hasn't even done no wizard shit yet, and he's just fucking, bro. It's just so fucking good. Like I could picture, bro. Everything. It's like fucking watching a movie. Like like as I go through the fucking book, like I, I mean, the the movies are pretty similar to the books. Like I heard they're different. I mean, so I, I mean, I I I haven't I've only read like that part literally until you got that to Diagon Alley, yeah. and it was all pretty similar. Other than that, like they didn't start, uh, like it didn't start in the same place. I think like they started okay. with with uh, with with Dumbledore. You know where he takes out his his thing and like steals the light. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he, he yeah, that's it a whole that's bunch the of scene times. they start. Yeah, they, that's what the scene they start in in the movie. But I'm pretty sure in the book it doesn't nah, start in the that book, scene. Uh, oh, it man. starts like talking about the family normal, right? Yeah, it's it, talking it, about it the ta- Dudley. It, it talks and about talk, a cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. You're right. You yeah. yeah I couldn't and even it's, think it's about that. And it's actually McGon. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's McGonagall, bro. Mag- I mean, yeah. I've watched the movie, so I know who she is. But at the at the point where I'm at, I haven't I haven't like I've met her, but I don't know who she is. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but yo, it's yo, just like the way nah, those, the, the way J.K. Crazy, Rowling, bro, bro, just describes everything. Like, bro, you can legit like like how she described Hagrid, bro. Crazy, bro. I could picture him, bro. Like, literally. I'm like, not gonna lie. Reading his accent is annoying as like as annoying as. Yo, fuck, bro. bro, it's all missed. It's all fucked up, bro. Like, it's like it's like uh, that shit's so annoying. Bro. Yeah, reading reading his accent is 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 kind of a little trip. But like other than that, bro, the books are great. And like I'm telling you, he hasn't even done no wizard shit. And I'm fucking like, oh man, this shit's crazy. I can't wait till he's fucking. You know what I mean? Kicking some ass, bro. That's deep in the books because I've been watching the movies, bro. And the first two movies, like, obviously, I know I've watched them all the movies already. Okay. I, the first two movies have, like, the are, like, the least, I feel, like, the least magical. There's not as much crazy, like, magical shit that goes on because he's so, he's still a little kid and they haven't showed him, like, the, the Yeah, and he, the and, and, and obviously, still. obviously, you have to, like, you know, create the setting and fucking explain a whole bunch of shit and, like, and he's, like, 10 years behind, like, he do, he didn't know he was a wizard till he was like ten or whatever, twelve or whatever. But like, yeah, he, yo, you know, you know what's crazy about Harry Potter, bro? What? That this dude was like born into greatness, bro. Yeah, he's fucking famous, like, bro. Like, like by accident, as a baby, he happened to be the like best sorcerer that there was at the time. As a baby, I know. He, and be, no, it's just crazy. And because of and because of that, he literally was forced. To be the best wizard that there is and fight him again, yeah, like, like bro, I can't. I'm telling you, I'm I'm super excited. I can't fucking wait, bro. Like, ladies and gentlemen, like Harry Potter's top tier. Like, and so like, what what really want like got me into wanting to read the books is one like I've, I was like, yo, I, I want to f- read this book series because uh, you know, eventually like one day I want to write a book myself. So I was just yeah. I wanted to just like like. Learn from See the, the goats, bro. Shit? Yeah, I wanted to learn yeah, from the like, goats, like the way that they construct their. Yeah, so uh, I listened to the Great Gatsby, and I was like, okay, I understand like why this is such a, like a famous book. So I was like, mm-hmm. let me read the Harry Potter series and fucking. I see. feel I feel like important shit for writing is like the detail of it. Yeah. If you if you could use like use uh, odd words, make the make it like um more. Like you can feel the environment more when there are words that are not used as often. Yeah, and especially like if you say a hot a hot room, it's like whatever. But if you say it's like it, it was a very warm room, a boiling, where, where, you know, or the heat, the heat, uh, you can feel the heat uh, across your skin, like some like shit like that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I know. I'm not, an, I'm not a writer. <laughs> nah, but I definitely, I definitely like. So I've been just trying to study like the goats, bro, and like bro, J.K. Rowling, bro, is a fucking beast. But like. Bro, like, uh, like specifically why I chose, like, why I wanted to read Harry Potter is because, like, I read this thing where, like, J.K. Rowling, bro, Rowling was a uh, billionaire, bro. And she lost her billionaire yeah. status by just donating it to, like, charities and stuff. And that's fucking noble as fuck, bro. That's, that's something I look up to, like, crazy. You know what I mean? Like, that is yeah. truly... Uh, 
like the de- like the definition of that's what I want goal. to be. Nah, I feel like that's yeah, the goal, like bro. I, I want to I want to make it and then I want to give it back, bro. You know what I mean? Like we talked yeah. in the last episode, uh, yeah. like I was talking about, like I, I want to essentially buy the city and then just give it back. That's like literally mm-hmm. what I want to do. And like I feel like she made it and like she's still like humble enough and such a great person, like where it didn't change her, bro. And she still I'm, like is a you know what I mean? mean, and she still is like cranking out books, isn't she? Yeah, I mean, I know more movies have come out, bro, but I, like I don't know. like she wrote books like oh, the, and the, the whole the, different series. Another one came out like something about his son, right? Um, yeah, I don't even remember, but like it's like uh, she's still making books, I think, like writing books. Yeah, so it's definitely like, bro, she's definitely an inspiration, bro. So I, it's like it's like for me. Like, especially because I'm trying to be such like a like motivation to people. You know what I mean? I, I feel like mm. I just feel like um, it's a must. Like I have to read her books, not only to learn for myself for like shit that I want to do in my future, but just because it's like she's the goat, bro. She's like a perfect example of like what what I what I want to be, bro, one day when I grow up. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it, it's it's a must, bro. But yo, I'm t- ladies and gentlemen, it's fucking great. It's a great fucking book. It, it's uh, it's awesome, bro. It's awesome. But enough about You only read 80 pages. Uh, nah, and I'm fucking loving it, bro. It's the greatest book. It's, it's the greatest book I've ever read. I've only read 80 pages. I mean, I want to I wouldn't say that like I, I don't know, like I've read like a lot of books, but I, I'll just say like it's it's just a gr- really good read and it's easy. It's easier to read. It's not yeah. like a fucking um, Cuz I mean, it's for little kids. Yeah, like, I remember I remember when I was younger I tried to read the Harry Potter series like when I was in like the fifth or sixth grade when I like young right mm-hmm. yo and and you know how they used to like f- make you read 20 minutes a day yeah 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 like, like they were like yo read 20 minutes a day the day that I got the Harry Potter book I couldn't read the language because like I guess I had a little kid language and I couldn't understand what they were saying I read the first page for those entire 20 minutes for those 20 minutes every day that week that's crazy the, I just kept rereading it because I was you like, didn't understand I don't understand it? what yeah. they're saying. <laughs> I would have to like just keep going back, and I was, now I was like reading it. Like I've been reading, I was reading it like a couple months ago, and I was just like blowing through the pages yeah, like crazy. Yeah. Like this. I was just definitely, going, bro, definitely. It's, it's easy to read. I was gonna say like, bro, like uh, I struggle, I still struggle like with Shakespeare, bro. His language is fucking it's it, hard, it, bro. but but he used his own language. Yeah, like, he was just, like he wanted to make like words for himself. Yeah, and it, it's just cool. like so. Uh, um, I remember like I think it was last year. I tried to read Othello, bro, and it just like, bro, I felt like you in fifth grade, bro. I, I was like. Ah. <laughs> Oh, like, Othello? Othello, yeah. Othello. Othello? Othello, yeah. It, it's a great... It, it? It's like... Pretty much is about like a... Like a... Like a black general, bro. And he like marries... I, I don't even remember. Like he marries like a... Like he gets... He fucking... What's that called when you just leave, bro? And you get married and you don't tell no one, bro. Um, uh, 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 it's uh, not betrothed. Um, betrothed? Nah, it's not Isn't that. betrothed like... My betrothed. Yeah, 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 like yeah. Some love. bullshit. But, um... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Fuck, bro. I can't remember that word. <laughs> uh, it's literally like right there when you when you like run. Yeah, when you, you run, run away and they, you get married. Start, uh, eloped. Yeah, eloped. They, eloped. Yeah, eloped, yeah, yeah. Eloped. So, so like he like gets eloped or whatever. And then like he fucking, he like turns bad because like there's this other dude. And he, it doesn't matter, bro. But it's just a great book. Like, and, but like it was mad hard to fucking read. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, I, and I'm trying to read, I'm, again, like I've been trying to read like, like the goats, bro, and like Shakespeare's the goat, and like it's just, bro, it, it it's gonna definitely take just more time to fucking just crank through it, bro. But yeah, uh, but like, bro, yeah. But other than reading, bro, watching mad documentaries, bro. I watched the uh, Ric Flair Thirty for Thirty, bro. Yo, crazy. Woo! Woo! Yeah, bro. Like no bullshit. Like that dude is so into wrestling, bro. Like he's such a a a, a like he's a wrestler at heart. That like, bro, he, bro, he did like. Never talk to his family, bro. Yo, why have you been watching so many documentaries? I feel like you said the same thing last week, bro. I don't know. I I just so I don't know. I just wanted to, like, I feel like like I've been trying to watch like, I don't know. Are I, you like trying to learn from people's lives? Yeah, that's that's essentially what I'm trying to do. Like, I've been watching the Michael Jordan uh, Last Dance, yeah. and bro, like it's just crazy. Like I. I feel like so I, I obviously I like watching movies and stuff for the art of it yeah. and like the creativity of it but like and you could also obviously learn like great stuff but like I feel like it's different when like you hear crazy ass stories or crazy shit and it's real people bro yeah, and yeah. that's why like I like I have a, a bunch of uh, documentaries I just want to watch but I want to like learn from people and like a lot of documentaries like they show when like when people go to shit bro and then they come back bro and they're they're like 
great. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's like a great ass story where like someone's just fucking down in the dumps, bro. And they're comeback story. Yeah. Like a comeback story like that. I think that's amazing, bro. Or, Or like where like they started from the bottom, bro. And now they're here, bro. Not to be like corny or whatever, but like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, like, yeah, like, that's, that's, that's like, shit that I like, bro. I, I feel like watching, like, for example, like, bro, watching The Last Dance, bro, and li- li- hearing fucking um, Dennis Rodman, bro. This man is a fucking beast, bro. And they sign him up, they sign him to the Bulls and shit, and he's a fucking beast. And, bro, in the middle of the season, bro, he, he takes a vacation, bro. And he's supposed to be out for 48 hours, bro. And he's gone for, like, a week, bro. And he's just tripping and shit, but he's fucking, he's a fucking beast. He comes back better than wait, ever. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, he dipped, like, from, like, for, like, without telling anybody? No, nah, no. Nah. So, like, he was, like, so, you know, Phil Jackson is the coach. He was, like, yo, Phil, I need a, I need a vacation. And Phil Jackson. Like for mental purposes? Just because he needed a break, bro. Like, and then, and if you know who Dennis Rodman is, bro, he's a fucking nut, bro. He reminds me of you, bro. He's just, he's just out, out there, bro. You know what I mean? What do you mean I'm out there? I'm, like, I'm inside right now. This is what I'm talking about, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but he's just like, like, uh, nah, it's not enough. Like, I'm not trying to offend you, bro. Like, legit, he's just like unique, bro, as a person, bro. I think you're fucking okay, okay. unique as a person, too. Like, you know what I mean? You right, are right. you are yourself no matter what, bro. It doesn't mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, like, do, I, mem- I, I remember. I don't try to be anyone else. I remember, like, we were, we were at a party, bro, and then you were like, we were talking, chopping it up, and I'm, you know, I could go on for days, bro, just chopping up about random shit. You legit were like, yeah, and just walked away, bro. You remember that shit, bro? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I do that all the time. Yeah, like I don't know. It's just, it's just when a conversation when I feel like I'm just gonna have small talk. I'm just like, you know, I'm good, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, you, you know what I mean? And I would never do that, bro. I would be, like, yeah, yeah. The weather's fucking nice. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, how are they? But kids, I mean, you know but I am, I, am, I do do like go talk to people for like random reasons. Like, remember that time we went to that cabin party, bro? And then all of a sudden, like the, a fight broke out at the end of it, bro. It was like two years ago, and a fight broke out at the end of it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That cabin party. Yo, okay, okay. Yo, you. So you remember? Remember when the fight? Because I, I hadn't been to mad parties like that. Yeah, I had, yeah, that was yeah. the first cabin party I ever went to. What was I doing? The one that everybody started fighting. You were bro? fucking talking, bro. Chopping it up, bro. No, I wasn't talking. I was going around surveying people. Remember? Yo, I was oh. like, yo, oh. <laughs> Out of uh, ten parties, out of ten parties, uh, um, how many of these do you think end in fights? Bro? I forgot about that. I forgot about that. nah, cause we remember uh, at the end, like we were chopping it up with like these like girls or whatever. That's what we were talking about. Yeah, I don't remember, but I thought we were just talking. I didn't know you were fucking breaking news, ladies was, and gentlemen. Was, like, that, what do you that, think? <laughs> that's what I started the conversation with. I was like, yo, oh, um, yo, out of ten parties, how many do you think end in, in fights, bro? That's, that's nah, really what, the only thing I remember about talking to those girls was, oh, they're trying to fight beneath and puede limpiar el culo. That's all I remember, bro. <laughs> that's all I remember them saying, bro. They were talking shit about the dudes fighting, bro. That's crazy, bro. That's like three years yeah, ago. Was, that was a fun ass. That party, was, bro. bro. Bro, that shit, that shit was, was crazy, bro. We fucking we went like six and on beer pong, bro. You remember that yo, shit? Oh yeah, yo, we were shit, bro. bro. Yo, that's the same party, with, yo, where, where we were like jumping up and down, bro. And we almost and, broke, and the we broke the floor, bro. Oh shit, I forgot about yo, that. Yo, that shit's crazy, that's bro. That's yo, crazy, bro. Yo, 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 bro, you... I'm not even gonna say it, bro. What happened? Bro, what, the thing that you guys saw me in the corner doing, bro. Oh, you were fucking punching and shit, bro. Yo, Jeez. ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, right? So I'm with my boy Heck, and we're chilling, bro. There's like a bar area, and we're just chilling. And then all of a sudden, we're chilling, hanging out, whatever, you know, doing our thing. And I'm talking to Heck, like, yo, this shit's crazy. This is a good party, whatever. You know, whatever we're talking, bro. You know, we're, we're drinking our honey or whatever. And then all of a sudden, we look across the room. And Jason's legit shadow, shadow boxing like mad hard though, like throwing swings like yo. And then and then all you hear is like, yo, fuck you, like yo, I don't care, I'm gonna kick your ass. And I was like, what the fuck? Nah, yo, nah, yo, yo, yo. It was because yo, I was like doing like boxing. I had started boxing around the time, bro. and I don't remember. I was, yo, I remember I was a little wavy, bro. I was, <laughs> you a little, I was just, a little, yeah. Yo, don't say you're a little, yeah, you're right. bro. You're a, it was the honey, bro. It was the yeah, honey, bro. The honey, bro. The honey got this man aggressive. Yo, fucking punch yo, in the legit. air. Nah, but I was having fun. It was because nah, I was by myself in the corner. I wasn't talking to nobody. I think I was just like remembering me and it like like hitting the bag or whatever. And I was just like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Yo, I'll t- yo, ladies and gentlemen, that, I was, we, we were legit like, yeah, yeah. 
what the fuck? Yo. And the heck was like, yo, go get your boy. Go get your boy, bro. Go get your boy, yo. bro. Yo, if you, yo, ladies and gentlemen, like, if you don't know Heck, bro, Heck is like, yo, you gotta, you gotta chill. Like, when he says chill, you gotta chill. So, like. Yo, that, that's, yo, he's a tough, he's a tough guy. Yeah, he's a, he's he, like, he's, he, he's like. Yo, he, yeah, he's straightforward. Like, he's, he's cool. He's, he's fun. He's like, yo, he'll, he'll love to joke around. But like, yo, once he says like, yo, chill. Yeah. And you don't chill, he'll he'll legit kick your ass. He doesn't care if you're fucking. Yo, you're like nah, this, he, you know he, what I mean? Yo, he's the type of he's the type of person. Yo, be outside in five minutes, and if you're not outside in those five minutes, you're he dips. Out. Yeah, he's yeah. out. He's bro, out. We were, we were gonna go to South Carolina to uh to fucking watch my boy graduate from the Marines, and like legit, he did that. Yo, you got five minutes to be outside, and he almost left. <laughs> bro, I had bro plant, bro fucking. Going to South Carolina, bro. We all planned this shit. We all put in money. And he almost left me. Fucking guy, bro. But yeah, he's fuck, he's the real deal. And like when Hex says, yo, chill, tell that dude to chill. Tell him to chill. You got you got to fucking do what he says or else you're going to get yeah, rock chill. bottomed like that ass. For real. <laughs> Let's, that's why we call him the rock, bro. We call him the rock. Rock bottom right through the table, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love Hex. Shout out to yo. Hex, bro. Yo, yo, let's have, him, let's have him as a guest one day, bro. That's. Yeah, I, I've asked him, bro. I don't know. He He's like, he's like, uh, yo, you can talk about mad shit, bro. I was like, yeah. Yeah, of course, bro. We talk about that fucking dude's, That anything. dude's wise, bro. That dude's bro, wise, bro. Heck, heck is, a, is definitely like a motivation to me, bro. Just like from like the stories he's told me, bro. You know, I'm not going to put it out there, but just the stories he told me and then the person he is today, bro. It's fucking insane. Yeah. Like the, the 360, bro, is crazy. He's a, he's definitely <laughs> yeah, a beast, legit, bro. bro. I, I love that dude with death, bro. Like. He's 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 amazing, bro. I was having a I was having a cool conversation with him today about about the fuel, bro. The fuel? Oh yeah, the fuel. The we fuel. always talk about the fuel, bro. You know, I was like, yo, me and him, we we we're pretty similar in, in the fact that we want to do something with ourselves, bro. Okay. You know, we want to be people that that are like, you know. That, yeah, that, that have stuff, made bro. it or, just, or done something. But well, are are considered successful, I guess, right? Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, like, there's just some people that don't have that. But we have like the fuel that makes us want to be better. Yeah. So like, what wh- what what is the difference? Like, well, for me, like my fuel, per, like my myself, bro. My fuel is like for myself. I want to look at back at myself and be like, all right, I did all the things I want to do, and you mostly the things I want to do is be able to influence people and to teach people. Okay. So sweet. that's why I do this podcast, bro. Boom. Why I do why why I'm here right now? I well, last week I was trying to teach everybody about the sociological imagination, mm-hmm. and now I'm here just talking some shit about. How well, how I'm motivated right now. Okay. Boom, I'm motivated to do this shit. Boom. I, like, that's yeah. that's the whole reason I do this. That's solid. Like, uh, I know for sure, like, everyone knows, you know, like, I say it all the time. Like, it just drives me, bro. Like, I, like my, my mom, bro, is is, is my yeah. hero, bro. She is the, the greatest person ever, bro. No one can argue me, bro. You know what I mean? She, she <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to try to argue. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Like, like she's just, she's just, she's my hero, bro. She motivates me every yeah. day to not only... Uh, become a better person, but just be a better brother and just, uh, you know, and she's also motivated me to not be a lazy fuck, you know what I mean? And, like, she, she's she been working her whole life, and, and I just, like, I see it, and I see the hardship she goes through to provide for me and my little brother. And I, and I truly just want to uh, give it all back, you know? I want to show her, like, yeah. I want to basically give her, like, a big thank you, bro. And and I always said, like, I want to buy her a house. I want to give her something that she that's hers. Um, and that yeah. she could do whatever she wants, and then where there's no like regulations and rules on how you can design a house, or like, oh, you can't paint, or you know, when you live in Damn. someone's house, you know what I'm saying? I want her to yeah. fully have it. It's hers, bro, and, and yeah. no one can say shit. Like, if she wants to paint the walls, fucking, I don't know, fucking rainbow, bro. No one can say shit to her. You know what I'm saying? Yo, that's like, like, could you imagine? That's like. Something that you imagine, like you're literally imagining a, a, a time in your life where you're gonna be able to do, pr- to provide this this whole yeah, experience I, I, for I your envi- mom. I envision it every day, bro. You you envision it, and that literally is what gets your gets your feet on the floor out of bed in the morning. Legit, bro. Like, like there's days where I'm like, fuck, I don't want to fucking work. You know what I mean? And like, yo, there's legit, huh, bro. I literally have done that. Like, I my alarm goes off in the morning. And I'm like. I'm like, fuck, man. I got to wake up now. Like, I got to start this day. I got to be Jason Mendes again, bro. Yeah. Like, fuck. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, there, there's been definitely. But, I, I, but, but obviously, I still get up and I still go and do the shit that I have to do. Mm. Yo, go to work. So just, just like something that like came into my head. Like, so you were talking about like, you were talking about the conversation you had with Heck, bro, and how you want to be successful, bro. But like, like mm. successful is to the person, bro. Just similar how you always That's say true. perfect is to the person. You know what I mean? So like, w- what? 
what do you envision to be successful, bro? For you personally, bro, what is successful for you? Like, oh, is it like, like the millions my, and billions, like for, bro? Like the, the measures for my like my metric. Yeah, yeah. I think my my metric is well. I think money has to be a metric for success. Really? Like, uh, in the world, in the world, the world that we live, like, for example, this is something that that was brought up in the conversation I had with Heck. He was like, "Yo, I wanna have, I wanna help people." Okay. I wanna. I want to travel okay. and I want to have fun, uh, bro. I feel like that's a pretty common thing for me too. I want to, I want to pr- be able to to go and somebody that's struggling with their family be like, "Yo, here, I, I'm gonna help you out," because I know I know what the struggle is like. For I've seen people struggle and I don't want that for nobody, bro. So I'm gonna help them out. That's beautiful. I want to travel and see see the whole entire world and see what it's like from from Boston to Massachusetts where we're at right now to freaking I don't know. Venice, even though I ain't going nowhere right now. Yeah, but, cha, cha, cha. <laughs> anyway. but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. And having fun, bro. If I want to go bowling, bro, I want to go bowling. But you know what I need to go bowling? Bowling shoes. How am I gonna get those bowling oh, shoes? Oh, money. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get it. Yeah, not like so. Like I definitely. That's what I'm saying. So, so I feel like um, the metric of money is always gonna be like, like the money is always gonna be a metric for success. Mm, I- so, uh, yeah. I don't know if it's millions and billions. I just, I mean, obviously, if I could be the millions and billions, if I could be Jeff Bezos right now, I wouldn't. You, know, you wouldn't, yeah, you wouldn't complain, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be like, yo, no, nah, I don't want that. Never mind. Yeah, like, like I, I just think, like, I don't know, man. I just want to like impact the world. But I f- well, 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 but let me let me stop you right before you you go on. Go yeah, on, you know, I'm gonna. I don't. I feel like because I don't feel money is the only metric for this kind of thing, though. I feel I feel like for one how happy I am it could be a metric for how how successful I am I'm gonna be like if I if I feel really happy and I feel like what's gonna make me happy is if I'm free to do what I want okay if for me to do this podcast I like to read bro if I could read I like to play smash if I could have all the time to just play smash I like not waking up with an alarm yo that's what this quarantine life is teaching me what I could do if I if I got to where I want to be where I have the freedom okay so freedom I feel like could be a metric too which will, will go hand in hand with happiness. Yeah, so, so that, that's what I was going to say. Like, I essentially, like, bro, I, I, I feel like uh, my success, like, when I s- finally tell myself, like, I'm successful is when, like, because I'm, bro, I'm I'm simple, bro. I'm simplest dude around, bro. Like, like if, um, if you don't know, like, ladies and gentlemen, like, I do, like, a birthday dinner every year, bro, and it, it means the world to me, you know what I mean? It's just a dinner. With- I mean, that's not simple, bro. You have, you bring, like, 30 people together, and you're like, yo, this is for me, bro. You even said it's, I want it to be, like, the Last Supper. Nah, but, like, the, like I'm not saying, like, I'm Jesus, bro. I'm saying, like... That's pretty dramatic, bro. That's pretty right, dramatic. I'm not saying I'm, like, Jesus. I'm saying, like, bro, it's not, like, I want, like, a crazy-ass party, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I want to sit down... Thing. Eat with the my favorite people and just mm. get roasted and 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 <laughs> crack jokes and you know what I mean and, and just and talk get told shit. to take a shot. Yo, Vic, take a shot. Yeah, yeah. Vic, take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And 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 that's just like I think, in my opinion, maybe it's not simple, but I think it's just simple. And like my successes is when I have the freedom to just sit down and read as long as I want, and I don't have and I like something that's like, oh shit, I gotta stop what I'm doing. To mm. to you know what I mean? To do this, to do like this, I gotta do yeah. my I gotta do my my work for I gotta go to sleep because I gotta go to work. Yeah, like, like I that. can just do whatever I want. Like if I want to play Xbox all day, I could play Xbox all day. Mm. If I want to read all day, I could read all day. No limitations. Yeah. Like like no limitations. You know what I'm saying? Like there's but just, see but see uh, even even in like a, a world like where you can do that, uh, how are you gonna make your money? Then you still have to do something to make. Yeah, your money. I mean, but like I think like for example, like uh, like I I don't know I. Uh, way I envision like rich people, nah, nah, that that could be a lie. Like I think like I was gonna say like rich people oh, have a I, lot of I leisure bet you time. Jeff Bezos, yeah, I feel like Jeff Bezos doesn't have mad leisure time. Yeah, but that's his also his choice because if he wanted to just retire right now, he probably. I mean, could. he changed the world, bro. Um, he has plenty of money for it. Yeah, but what what I mean is like, bro, he's building a clock in a mountain, bro. Like he's like, he's he, he's made of money, bro. But he's just doing his shit. But I, <laughs> literally, yeah. So I was gonna say like, yo, I think like a lot of rich people have more leisure time, but. Honestly, like, if you're doing what you love, like, you probably are, you don't feel like it's work, but you're working, like, I was, like, thinking Kevin Hart makes a whole bunch of money, but he's nonstop, bro. He's on the dime, bro. He, he has a schedule yeah. every day. He's working out, bro, and then he owns, like, weights, and he owns vitamins and stuff. Like, he owns a vitamin company, bro. But not only that, he has, um, what is it, Heart Radio or something like that. So he does, like, a podcast. He has, like, a, a radio show, but he does movies, on bro. On iHeart Radio? On iHeart Radio? 
I don't know. It's something Hart, bro. Hart Productions or something like that. Oh, like his actual name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, not iHeart Radio, bro. Or maybe oh, I, I, don't I don't know. know. I don't know. But but he like, said Art Heart Radio or something like that. No, nah, no, nah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I don't know. But like he he's but he's on the he's never stopping, bro. You know what I mean? Uh he's always preparing for his next stand up. He's always preparing for his next movie. He's always preparing for but I feel like that's a, a lot with like success. Like people that already are successful, they're always doing more. Like for example, Drake. We're talking right now. He how many how many albums has he dropped? He continues like every year to drop something. Yeah. Like, like I mean, last year he dropped the care package, which was just like reused bars and shit. But it still was some music that he had made at some time. He's always grinding, always making new music. And I think and I, like he yeah. he literally dropped that album and then on a live he was, he was teasing new music, bro. <laughs> Like the, he's just on on the grind all the time. Yeah. Like he's just motivated. He's like fueled to do his shit. Like yeah, he has the he has the fuel to do it. But like what I'm what I'm saying is like maybe maybe it's just like uh he they love doing that shit. You know what I mean? And so they don't mind working all the time, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, to be I honest, mean. like if if like I was making like like I, I don't want to say millions, but I, if I was making uh, let's put it like this, if I was making the same amount of money that I was making at the bank that I'm that but, but doing the podcast, bro, I would choose the podcast any day because it, it's not work for me. I'm talking, bro. I'm I'm chilling, yeah. talking, and just hanging out. It's easy. And if we if we're I mean if we're on the same schedule, honestly, it's not really that hard. I I think we would do more if we were had the yeah. You know what I mean? And like so, not only do like obviously I lo I love the podcast, but like I, I want to expand, bro. I want to do like other shit. I want to experiment with other stuff, bro. Like uh maybe do like some short movies or something, bro. Who knows, bro? Who knows what the messy room has in store? But like, yo. We, I, I feel like we have a castle or up here, bro. Nobody knows what the castle looks like. Yeah. Everybody thinks the castle is just a successful podcast, but the castle, the castle is way, bro, way higher than yeah, that. Yeah, definitely, bro. We're, we're, it's not, it's not like the mess room is, 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 it's not defined as a podcast. It's a podcast now, but it's gonna be just, it's gonna be great, bro. It's gonna be a statement. It's, it's gonna, gonna be a feeling. Yeah, it's gonna be like, like it, when you say my room's a mess, you're gonna be like. <sighs> my room's a mess, bro. Yeah, bro. That, uh, you're boom. just gonna feel it, bro. Yeah, you're gonna be thinking like, yo, this shit's crazy. I'm listening to some messy clips in the messy room, you know, like just living it up in my mess. Like that's that's what it's gonna be. Like it's that's what I envision, bro. And like, I don't know. I, I I'm a similar to you, bro. You're you're fucking bro, remember when we first started, bro, the podcast, how I was like, bro, the way you the way we're gonna grow this is building brick by brick and building our base and just growing yeah. and you were like nah yeah. i see the castle in the skies bro and i was yeah. like i was like then we're fucking meeting in the middle then right because i gotta i gotta build down yeah you gotta build but and i, I have to build I, I, up. I can't build down i can't build down the the vision is there i realize i have to build up too yeah it's just crazy bro but like remember that when we were like yo we're gonna meet in the middle but yeah that's definitely what's gonna happen bro like we just had i had i like we have just so much passion to do this bro and we want we we tr we just have true intentions, bro. Like, uh, like I'm not. That's what I'm saying. But what's the fuel for us, bro? Like, what what what's the fuel for you? Why do you why do you get a, why other than your mom and shit? Like, why do you decide to do what you do in the day? So like, uh, obviously, like I work, uh, I work at the bank, right? And the way I think about like when I work at the bank, like. Uh, I find it really interesting, right? I, I think like as much as I like always say like, oh, I hate money, this and that, but like. I think it's a great opportunity just to learn how money works and how money moves and how you can use money to benefit you. You know what I mean? I always, okay. I, I, I've, I've grown up in a, in a, in a, in a way where I see money as money comes and money is our survival, but I want money to come and money to flow. I don't want money to come and go. I want, you know, I want yeah. money to flow in my life and to, to, you know, use it wisely. You know what I mean. I don't want it to just use it to your advantage. Yeah, and let you do, I don't want to it do to things that you want. Yeah, do. I don't want it to just come and then we pay bills and then we it comes and then we pay bills and then we come. We pay. We're just surviving, living the day, bro. I want to. Yeah. I want to expand it and and have money for like, let's say, like, uh, there's gonna come a time when Manuel goes to college, bro. You know, and I want mm. to be able to be like, yo, listen, man, if you want to go to college, which I hope he does, you know, um. Uh, I'll be like, listen, you want to go to college, bro? Here, here's a check, bro. That I've worked, I worked hard for this, you know. I like, and and, yeah. and and it would be a proud moment to me for, for me supporting my little brother, stuff like that, or like, yeah. or like, if I ever, if I, if I ever have the opportunity to have grandkids, bro, I could leave okay. leave a legacy behind, bro, where 
would do the same for them. You know what I mean? I want to leave like a generational wealth kind of thing. Like that's that's oh, okay. where, and I think working working at the bank is a great opportunity for that. But again, there's days where I'm just like, fuck, man, I fucking oh, like why am I? You know, because you know, it's bro, it gets stressful, like bro. For me too, and it's not even just like with work. Because say I I was working construction, my my long term plan is not to work construction the whole time. Yeah. My long term plan is to hopefully this working this job can bring me enough money that I can use this money to convert it into more money through some means or whatever whatever I figure out is going to be the way that I do it definitely bro but that like that's not my my goal is not to be there so I have a long term goal okay so, uh, yeah yeah you know what I mean so like it, it's definitely like so it's just so I see a great opportunity working at the bank but then Sometimes I don't even want to fucking work, bro. I don't even want to sign in, bro. Like I don't even like when I, when, you know, when we were tra- like taking taking um public transportation. Like when I was taking t- public transportation, like take it, going into the city. Like sometimes I was mm. like, oh man, I don't want to even fucking be in this bus. Like, geez, like so you know insane. what I mean? And like and like again, like what motivates me to like go and then get the day over with and like is one obviously my mom and two it's this podcast, bro. This is my this is legit. Like what I've been, bro. I, I remember when I was a little kid, bro. I used to. Like pretend like I was talking to someone on my couch, bro. Like if I was Dave Letterman, bro. Dave Letterman, or if I was Jimmy Fallon, bro. If I was uh, Jay Leno, bro. I was interviewing someone, or I was being interviewed, bro. Like by fucking David Letterman, bro. That that ass, a little kid, bro. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I made it here, this and that. Like just fucking around. But that's something I've envisioned my whole life. So I think this is great stepping stones for this, bro. Not only am I growing in public speaking but i'm i'm just growing as a person bro and i'm doing it with my fucking best friend bro you know what i'm saying so it's just that's true it's just fucking awesome bro yo that's crazy that it's like the you like you maybe you're not thinking of it like the whole way or the whole way through but it brings things to you that you don't even know that you're going like i didn't know i wanted to be able to inspire people when i started this like for real when you asked me i knew i just wanted to do something else for myself like i have a bigger vision you know i have a, a vision where i i literally am I, i'm the jack of all trades i know how to freaky i know how to make a sword for a lot of i know kung okay, fu okay. bro <laughs> i know like you know i'm i know everything bro that's that's my my biggest goal in life but i don't i feel like i won't be on this planet long enough for that nah, but i you know. i think like if you if you have goals like that where like you, you want to learn everything you're gonna just like even if you strive for that every day you're gonna try to be the great that's so like i always tell you so that's why every day i choose to do something like for myself yeah for this part so so like so i did i decided to do the podcast because maybe i did and i, I started decided to do the podcast because i want to start something that's different for myself that i was i hadn't done i get out of my comfort zone somehow and i felt one i could do it with my friend which would, would we could support each other and push each other to continue to keep going Cause like we've both been at the times where we've both been like, yo, like it's just hard, bro. Like if I'm quoting right now, Corday's song, uh, we gonna make it, where Meek Mill goes, yo, I've been tired of chasing dreams, but I'm gonna chase it. Like I've been at that point where I was tired of doing what I'm doing, yeah, bro. bro. Like, like I, I'm just like, yo, this podcast shit. Like when we were started, it, it was just bigger. You're just playing it and learning and what. But once like, you're in it, day, yeah. But every day, still, I think about it every single day. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to do this. Yeah. But I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. And always thinking about how you're not there sometimes just be, just makes you be like, yo, I don't even want to do this shit no more. Yeah, I, I, I definitely understand that, that, the frustration. Definitely like seeps. And, and I'm saying, doing it together, you and me, when I feel that that oh, I don't want to do this right now, you you could be you get me out. And you're like, yo, I don't, I you gotta do this, bro. It's not just for us. It's for a bigger. It's a bigger yeah, yeah. I, I, so like, ladies and gentlemen, like when me and Jason had like we had that talk many times where we're like, damn, like yo, like we're overthinkers, bro. And we just overthink and we'll ask the same questions and have a different answer like, all the time. Is this the right thing for me to be doing? Yeah, bro, yeah. And stuff like that. And yeah. like, I, I definitely like. It's just like I'm just like, yo, Jay, like, like. We're being selfish, bro. You know what I mean? I, I feel mm. like I, every time I talk to Jason, bro, I learn something new about myself or about the world or about him or, or something interesting, something cool. It's never fucking dull. And, and uh, you know, if I could say, like, I, I hope I do the same to you, right? Um, and, like, you know what I mean? I, I don't know, bro. But I hope I do the same to you, bro. And, like, I just think, bro, conversations that we have, bro, where we're learning and fucking just growing, I feel like that's selfish, bro, if we don't put it into the universe, yeah. bro. We're trying to fucking go through the universe, bro, and we're not putting stuff into the universe, bro. You know what I mean? That's just, I feel like, yeah. in my opinion, that's just selfish, bro. But I'm saying, so I, I like, um, we started to do this podcast together. 
And now I'm out of my comfort zone doing new shit. And I, but still, I have this like I want to be bigger, bro. I want to be bigger. I want to do more. <laughs> I, I want to do this. That's I want to do that. Bro. That's the, it's the ambition. That's bro. us being human, bro. We always want more. And we always want to grow. And we always want to strive. And especially us as creators, bro, of our own sh- like our own content, we're gonna. It's we're always gonna be like, oh, we could have done this better. Oh, we could have had this conversation better. Oh, we're gonna do this better. But I think like we just have to, like you know like step back a little bit and just enjoy mm. the conversation that we're having together. And then, you know, uh, eventually people will listen in. Cause right now it's just me and you talking, right? Uh, this stuff, you know, like as we're recording, it's not out right now. You know what I mean? Uh, it's going to get edited and stuff. But then like when people listen to it, then they engage in it. But I think we just have to, I know, like understand we're trying to be the, like the best and we're trying to be, we're trying to be the best in Boston. Then we're trying to be the best in States, bro. And we're trying to be the best in the world. Like, you know what I mean? That's, that's what we see, bro. Uh, and I think it just, it just us being ourselves, bro, is going to take us a long way. So we, I feel like we just got to live in the moment, bro. And like, just try not to, I know, it, I know it's always there, but just try not to fucking, oh, we got to be better. You know what I mean? That, but that's what I'm saying. So it, it then kills my it kills my motivation like that. But I'm trying to always stay motivated mm. to do yeah. everything I want to do. That, like this is a little. This is just the podcast is a little piece. It helps me. It helps me get out the knowledge that I I, I want to I I get myself. Like okay. I read right, and I feel like me reading. I read some good shit. Like this book right here. I've been, I was reading, I've been rereading Thinking Grow Rich. This great book. This week. Great book. I've read pieces of it. I haven't read the whole thing to be honest. The, the book the book is really good because it's like basically what I want right now. I feel sometimes I feel like I'm at a point where I'm just like I know I could do this. I could be pretty good at this. I could be pretty good at that. I could be pretty good at this. Like I'm let's say I have three options and I if I if I really put my all into one of those things, then I'll be where I want to be. You know, I I'll, I Makes can I like get to where I want to be, but. If I do that one thing, then I don't get to do the other two things that I like. So I'm just like, yo, I don't, I'm mad confused about what what I want yeah. for the for myself. But this book, like, I just you know, you just read and it helps you like somebody somebody else's perspective on like, yo, this is how this is how you should think out your the way that you you choose your your things and what you plan out, how you get where you want to get, well, how you choose. The things that you do and plan out what you want to do okay. so that you get to where you want to be. Okay, make, so make like sense. That, that's just what I need, bro. And it's just like because I got so much motivation, mm-hmm. I feel like an ambition that if if it's like if I just waste it by just doing like a million things, yeah. I'm never gonna get to where I want to get to. I want to have to put my all into something, bro. Yeah, nah, that that for sure I agree. Like the thing, the thing that I like. Like, I love life, bro, but the thing that I'll say, like, if I had to, like, be a negative Nancy and, like, complain about is there's an infinite amount of uh, of ideas that you want to do and you want to try, but there's just a limited amount Not of time, time bro. bro. Yeah. And and that and that's what, so, like, it's always, like, you know, uh, choose, make your time, choose your time wisely or whatever, like, blah, blah, blah like, like it, should you be doing this or should you be doing that? Like, it's all decision making, like, and your decisions will lead to, like, Right now, we could be playing Call of Duty or we could be fucking sleeping, but we're doing this podcast. You know what I mean? We decide to do this because I feel like this is going to benefit both of us and it could benefit the world. Or That's what I, yeah, I, I always think. I always think like like if you put it out to the universe, it can benefit us, them. Yeah, it's bigger than yeah. than just us two. It, it's going to... It's out there. You know what I mean? And I don't know. I just... Man, like it, it, it's, a, it's a thing that like I always like think about. Like, am I making it like... Like for example, like I like like I like the idea of working at a bank, and I like what I'm learning. But is this the like is this the appropriate stuff, like that I should be doing like all the time, like more than forty hours a week, where I'm just working for the bank, bro, instead of like being an employee to someone, or should I, you know, take a fucking leap of faith and just go full throttle in the podcast, bro. And like full throttle on what I, you know, all my creative stuff that I want to do is that is that, like, I always think of that. Like, is that a decision that I should make or is that, or am mm-hmm. I just, or, or should I be, uh, you know, safe and, and, and have that, you know, bank, the bank, bro, or have that like job where, you know what I mean? Where it's, it, well, I'm going to answer that question for you. Uh, I mean, I don't think that. I think, uh, yeah, you could, but I think that, I, mean, I think that's just you have an answer. An, yeah, you have you have to answer the question yourself. Obviously, yeah, I was gonna say I but think that's just what a question I, I would answer to that question is, yo, we're literally here only one time, bro. Well, one time for sure that we could know one hundred percent. Okay, proven fact. 
I'm literally, I was born, one day I'm going to die. Mm -hmm. And if I am playing it safe that whole time, what the hell was the point of that time that I was here, bro? Mm -hmm. The point of this shit is to, to do whatever the fuck you want to do. And be the person you want to be. I mean, be. I feel it, but I feel it, I feel it. No, I that you should be whatever I, you want to be. I definitely understand that, bro. Want, like, yeah. I definitely, bro, I definitely understand that, like, for sure, bro. But it's just, there's a thing where it's like, okay, I quit my job right now. How am I going to buy another camera? How am I going to buy another microphone? How am I going to, you know, pay for the internet in my house so that I could talk to you through a Zoom call? You know what I'm saying? How am I, like, that's what, that's what gets me. So, like, like, I understand, like, like, it, it's kind of like, especially, like, you, you're my, you're my fucking, you're my co-host, bro. And I know, I know, like. You you get frustrated when I'm working too much and you want to fucking dive into the podcast and I'm just focused on my job. But like, um, this is paying for the dream, bro. You know what I mean? So like, true, true. So like, it, 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 I, I definitely, bro, hundred percent understand what you're saying. But it's just fucking hard when this is what's paying yeah, for I the guess dream. It has to be a it has to be a calculated risk. I guess. Yeah, like like obviously like like it's a le like I could do the leap of faith, but. I want to do it smart, you know what yeah. I mean? Like so then, so then it's it's not just it's not just doing what you want to do. It's doing what you want to do, but doing what you no have one, to do. But doing what you have, but but at the same time doing what you have to do to be able to get to do what you want to do. Mm. So you know? It's, yeah, it's kind of like it's it's just how life is set up, bro. It's just like, how um, life is set up. I forgot his name, bro. Earl Thomas is his name? No, that's a football player. Uh that's a football player. No, nah, there's a there's a dude, something Thomas, bro. Uh it's a, he has like a famous like motivational speech uh where he's talking about like the like some rich guy takes a, a guy to the water and then he fucking pushes him to the in, into the water, deep into the water and he's he's almost cho he's like choking him, like holding him down and he's about to drown and then the dude comes up and he can't even breathe and he's like uh if you as it's something like if you want it as much as you like you want to breathe then that's when like that's when you're motivated or something like that that's in the same bro in the book too it says a burning desire like when you the, the, the whole the whole premise i feel or like the whole main idea of the book is using your thoughts like you have an idea like for example the idea of the podcast you had that idea you could turn that into the uh, a physical amount of money through basically plan and action. You have a plan for whatever you want and you use your subconscious to, to get to, you use auto suggestion. So basically telling myself, yo, I want this and this amount of money, okay. blah, 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 blah. Um, subconscious, give me that, pl give me a plan so I can get there. Makes sense. And then okay. you just say it every day and eventually your subconscious will send you a plan to get to where you want to be. Mm. But you, what you need is like, you want to, you have to say that stuff like what you say, I want this and that and that. You have to say it with faith and a burning desire, bro. Like you just want that shit more than you could, like more than the next breath you're gonna take. But how the fuck do you even do that shit? I, I mean, I'm motivated to do what I want to do, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm not, I'm not so motivated that I'm like, if I don't, if I don't, if I don't become the most successful podcast, if I don't become Joe Rogan, right? I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna be like, yo, ugh, I'm, I'm not gonna. It's not, it's not. I don't want it as much as my next breath because I want. Way, way more than that, bro. So mm. that's what's tough for me to get a specialized burning desire. I just yeah. So that, that's know. what I'm saying. Like it, it's it's definitely hard. And like I I mean I don't know, bro. I, I definitely nah. I was gonna say like I definitely have a burning desire to do the podcast. Like I do, but like I said again, it's not like like where if I don't do the podcast, I'm gonna die, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it, it's like what you were saying. Like and and then. It's crazy, yo, real quick. I, I don't know why it's in my head, but it's crazy. Yo, you were like, oh, if I'm not the best, I'm not Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's podcast is fucking great, bro. It, it's yeah. it's legit. I'm not going to say what inspired me to do a podcast, but like when I was listening to Joe Rogan, I was like, I, I have to do this shit because for a long time I wanted to do it. And then I was like, who, who, who can I think of that's fucking, that could be my like, like opposite hand? But Joe Rogan does it by himself. Why did you want to do it with two people? Because uh, so... Uh, one, I thought. I mean, yo, one, one. If we're really, if we're gonna be straight up about my room's mess, was supposed to be three people. Yeah, it's true. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. So, all right. So when I was envisioning my room's a mess, I wanted, well, not my room's a mess. The podcast. The podcast. Yeah, it wasn't called that yet. But when I was envisioning making a podcast, so essentially, I wanted. Uh, cause so Joe Rogan's always talking to someone, right? Yeah. And I watched 
uh, other podcasts where people are just talking to their boys and then they have a guest sometimes. And like, I felt like that was better than having a guest every day. I felt like I, I didn't even have a podcast, but I felt like trying to get a guest every fucking week or, or mm. would have been like super stressful and hard. And then like, what if like no one wants to come on and like dealing with True. like when I'm able to deal with myself and I'm accountable for myself, bro, it's easier than when you have to uh, like, Taking accountability of someone else, somebody bro. else, yeah, yeah. True, so, true. so that's what, so that's what I was thinking. I mean, we kind of do have to take in accountability for the two of us. Yeah, but we're boys, and I could just hit you up like, "What the fuck are you doing, bro?" You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I can't just be like, let's say, I don't know, like, uh, random, uh, just a random, random guest. guest. Yeah. I can't be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Like, hurry up. You know what I mean? People have lives, bro. Yeah. And like, I, uh, originally, we, like, what I was thinking was, okay, I know myself as a person like really well. I know I'm loud. I'm fucking. You know, I'm, I'm just going to speak my mind. I'm just going to say stupid shit, bro. I'm just going to try to inspire or whatever. I knew my character, bro. Like, it, it, like the way I envisioned it was like a movie, bro. If I'm going to watch a movie, bro, or if I'm going to watch a podcast, like, who are these people and what characters are they? You know what I mean? Even though it's mm. real life. So I was like, okay. Like, originally I wanted three. And I was like, okay, I want... I want someone that's really opposite from me, but I can still talk shit to, and it's not gonna take offense to anything I say, and it's not gonna be a, you know what I mean, like a panty if I like insult yeah. them or like roast them or something, you know what I mean? So I was like, I was thinking, I was thinking, and I was like, oh, yo, bro, it's fucking Jason, bro. Like Jason is legit, like you know, I, like he's at the time I was like, yo, Jason, you know, he we have different lives, bro. We've grown up different, but we've grown up similar. And, like, the way he talks, the way he thinks, bro, the way he acts is way different than me. And I was like, that shit would be fucking hilarious, bro, you know? And then, um, so so then I thought I was going to be the medium person because then I wanted, and then the third person, I wanted it to be just this extraordinary fucking character of a person where they're like, you know what I mean? They won't take no for an answer, and they're gonna they're gonna be like the Stephen A. of the show, right? And that was okay. supposed to be my my boy uh, my boy Ricky, bro. You don't think I could be Stephen A., bro? No, definitely not. Um, I'm more Stephen A. than you, bro. You know? Yeah, for sure. For sure. But like, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. You're you're Skip Bayless all the way, bro. You're you're Mac, Mac, Max Kellerman. But yo, so like Ricky, bro. Just a little background. He's a fucking. He's a. A flame of a per like he's a fucking you know he's just a character of a person bro he's loud bro and he's not gonna take no for an answer and he's gonna argue to the end of the days bro and he's always right you know so I thought that would be a funny ass character if I was watching a podcast bro so I thought that that would be different bro because if I had to convince him and he wouldn't take no for yeah, an answer yeah and I, I, when I know I'm right I'm gonna keep trying exactly. to convince exactly so I thought like the dynamic of like I, I, like uh, uh, I was gonna say like a, a smart guy right like the guy like like the smart guy like that has all the statistics and shit but then the guy that's not gonna shut the fuck up and then the middle ground where he's goofy but is you know he wants to inspire which is me i thought that'd be hilarious but you know things happen you know and uh yeah. it, it, like he it just ended up not working with him but like yeah and then like and then i was like nah but the dynamic between jason and i is hilarious bro because we know each other so well that one Jason could fucking piss me off and get under my skin, bro. And he's gonna. I literally do it every. I try to do it every single. Yeah, day. you know what I mean, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, we play a fucking game where we try to we try to get each other, bro. We legit like yeah. we'll say we'll just talk, start talking bullshit and try to piss the other one off just because we're fucking bored. Like I, I used to do it to him all the time, and he used to get fucking tight. But now he's getting pretty good at it, and sometimes he gets me pretty good. But because you told me, you told me you were like, yo, I'm just trying to get you tight, and then I was like, yo. Okay, you want to get me tight? Well, I'm gonna yeah, try to get yeah. you so, tight too. So now we try to get each other, bro. It's mad hilarious. Like, especially like when you, yo, like we have to get creative with that shit now. Like, I, like yo, especially yo. So now, now I've been trying to get for, to shut shit that I know is your soft spot. Bro. Yeah, no. Like I, I got you, I got you with that with the co with the, with the mamba mentality. Oh yeah, I was like, yeah, yo, yeah, yeah. You, yo, you don't even have the mamba mentality, bro. He was like, <laughs> what do you mean I don't have the mamba mentality, bro? <laughs> yo, what do you mean I don't have the mamba mentality? <laughs> <laughs> yo, and then, uh, ladies and gentlemen, so, like, like uh, Jason's always like, yo, I do mad shit for the podcast, like, because I'm always working, so he does, like, oh, yeah, he does yeah, a lot yeah. of background stuff, and I was, like, I, I was, like, roasting him, oh, like, I do this, this, and that, I do this, 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 and then all of a sudden, Jason goes, uh, and I go, yeah, it's, uh, like, I, what the fuck did I say, bro? I said something, I was, like, I was, like, yeah, you're always talking about 75, 20, but you don't do fucking, 75, 25, but you don't do fucking shit, but this and that, and this dude was, like, I don't do shit, I don't do shit, and then I started no. dying, and I couldn't hold it. <laughs> And he was Yo, like, "That's when I, I was like, damn, you got yeah, me.' He, yeah, yeah." And then silence came, and he was like, "Damn, 
you got me. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, but like, nah. So like, I de- like definitely. That's what I'm saying. Like, I-, I think between me and you, like, the dynamic of that is just hilarious, bro. And one, it's bro, I'm comfortable talking to you. You know, you're my fucking boy. I'm not like if I had to talk to some like. I don't know, like, let's say, like, this was planned, and, like, we're on TV, and I had to talk to some random-ass person that I didn't have, like, connection with, I would be like, mm. yeah, uh, you know what I mean? Nah, I feel like you'd be all right. You're pretty good at talking to people. Yeah, but I don't know if I'd be, like, as, as, I don't know if I'd bring myself as much, you know what I mean? I think I'd, I'd I mean, portray obviously you, something. It's just comfortable right here. It's just chilling. Yeah, man. like. So, I mean, so wh- wh- how do we even get here? I don't right. even know, bro. Backtrack. Backtrack. <laughs> okay, we, we said, we talked about Joe Rogan. Being number and one. And then, you know, yeah, we talk, you talked about, no, you, we were talking about us and how we started use, We started as an idea because of Joe Rogan. Mm. One, I, bro, Joe Rogan is a beast, bro, because he could talk about anything, bro. I definitely want a, a kind of style like that where I, like, I feel like we could talk about a lot of stupid shit, a lot of smart shit, a lot of... Uh, crazy shit yeah. so i want to be able to do that with guests but he does it with pure guests bro which is crazy because we do i like the dynamic where we could do just the two of us bro we're, we're just talking and it's not just it's not about the guests it's about us as individuals yeah but then we can also have that guest that we can have that guest come on where we it's about the guest and we just we you know we just vibe in the three of us of course or the four of nah, us, I, I, or five or 30 if we ever get there but so like the way i think about a guest is i love bro i love i love talking to people too like uh like guests and stuff like especially when we did like season one the thing i liked about it was that we got a different perspective on things it's not just uh, us two it's a uh, a different perspective or a different story that we didn't hear you know what i mean like for example like when we had alexis on uh and he he spoke his, his beautiful story like i've heard that story before like he's told me like on a personal level but like him like it, it was amazing to see like him having the confidence to speak that to our audience bro and and to to say it so like gracefully bro and just be so like it, it was beautiful bro it was just beautiful to watch and to be a part of and like that's what i'm saying like and i think and i think like a lot like i felt like that story really hit home for a lot of people bro you know the and I'm talking about like the feedback I got and stuff. Like they were like, "Wow, this is amazing!" Like I know I'm not. They were like, "I'm not that spiritual," but like he hit me. You know, the story hit me, and it, and yeah. it was it was beautiful to see that. Like my one of my 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 fucking boys. Like I call him my best friend too. Like one of my best friends. He's a fucking he's a beast, and was confident enough to say that on our podcast. You know, and then it 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 enlightened people, and I that's what I want. That's what I want. Like with guests, bro. Like talk your shit, bro. You know what I mean. Like whatever yeah. it is you're doing. Tell your truths. Yeah. Bro. Tell, tell your, your fucking truths. truths. Yeah. And like, so I I like talking to guests too. But like, there's there's just something about like chopping it up and just being loose, bro. You know what I mean? Because I feel like like sometimes you have to be more like you have to di- direct the conversation how you want it to go or how you want it to flow yeah. with the guest. Um. Or or like you know there's some things like there's boundaries, bro. There's filters that you have to talk yeah. about with guests. Like you can't just like. You know, like you can't just like chop it up and stuff. Like you have, like pe- people have their privacy, bro. You, you know what I mean? And like, all because we're able to just talk whatever the fuck we want to talk about, and like we just dive into whatever. Doesn't mean our guest wants to. You know what I mean? So there's more like yeah. I don't want like I don't want to say like we're not like like we have rules, but there's more like uh, there's like a respect level there. You know what I mean? You have to like yeah. ask, bro. Whereas for if I want to make fun of Jason's nose, I'm a fucking make fun of Jason's nose, and you know what I mean? I mean, imagine just roasting somebody that just came on to talk to you. And just like, <laughs> yeah. You're just like, yo, what what are you wearing, bro? <laughs> that'd, that'd be crazy, bro. Yeah. yeah. So but like, it does make it funny that we could do that to each other. But that's funny because guests come on and then do it to us. Yeah, yeah. Like making fun of our nose, my nose, and making fun of you being short and shit. Like, <laughs> too fuck. Yeah, and I, and I love that shit, bro. And I definitely, I definitely like, bro. And that's, what, uh, that's like a big motivation for me, bro. I want, like, that's what like honestly keeps me going bro is is the fun that i have while doing this shit bro it's not it's not like it's not a job bro and i don't think it'll ever become a job you know what i mean like when i know when i'm working i have a work mode i have a work voice but when i'm here i'm I, i'm my true self i'm home bro like i'm physically home true, yeah but bro. like i'm home true. bro yeah and i'm just speaking my truths and i'm right. i am who i am all right i'm gonna have a i want a truth moment right now i'm gonna tell the truth all right my truth, bro. We were talking about fuel earlier, and I want to talk. I want to talk a truth right now. Me as a person, bro. I always, I always think about who I want to be, like the second right before I die, like millisecond right before I die. What kind of person is that going to be? Okay. And for me, 
I want that person to be one per a person that was able to help people and to be better better themselves, get the, get out of situations. I want to be a person one a person that I got to maybe experience some some uh, sort of life in science, bro. I, I get to experiment and do some shit, some crazy shit in science because I know. I still want to be an engineer, like in deep down inside, because I love that shit just as much as I love doing this. Of course, this. of course, and that's I okay, bro. You, ha- you you can be a jack of all trades, bro. That's what I'm trying to be, bro. I'm saying I want to be, I like if I, but I'm t- if I'm gonna simplify, I want to be able to be, a, I want to be a, a, a maybe an influential person that got there through this podcast and became a a whole bigger media media uh persona because and has a background in science bro like the science stuff you know what i mean yeah that's That's definitely possible bro i want to be a a, a good family man bro i want to be able to i want to be able to look back and be like yo i care about the people in my family uh and i was able to show them every single day that i love and care for them which i which right now honestly if i'm being truly honest bro i struggle with that very very well i haven't spoken to my dad in like in a couple weeks bro just because we got into a fight and it's just yeah me and we're both be pretty stubborn people and but you know I, at the same time you know you you struggle one part but something about us is better I'm, may, I, I'm able to talk to my, I've been talking to my brother every single day we talk every single day Beautiful, yeah. which is like was something I would I haven't done before so you know we're one but we're just always trying to get better like we say better than ever because we're always getting better facts I I so family is a big thing that I want to do. And at the same time, I my health, bro. I want to be a healthy individual that I know right now I'm not a healthy individual because I can eat for days, bro. And I do eat for days, bro. <laughs> I literally sit there and I, I eat half a box of cereal and I didn't even notice, bro. Like I, I one day I, I like stopped and was like, yo, I want to see how much cereal I eat, like how many calories I eat in my cereal. Yeah. So I, I took out like a measuring cup. And I started like pouring the cereal into the measuring cup, measuring, and I I looked about how much how uh how much I usually fill up the bowl. Okay, shit was four cups of cereal, and then I put the milk that I want. It was like three cups of milk, and that shit was like seven hundred calories. And what's crazy is usually I finish that bowl and then pour more cereal in there. And I was like, yo, holy crap! Like I'm eating seven hundred calories just sitting there in one <laughs> sitting like nothing, bro. Like it's it's just water. Yeah. So. I know I'm struggling there, but I want to be able to be tell it, say it the day my second before I die. I'm a healthy individual, and I care. I I am strong. You know, I'm strong in the inside. Not only health like outside and like how I breathe, like my body, but health in the mind as well. I want to be able to say I could, bro. I want to be able to meditate for like 30 minutes straight, bro, mm. and only think about one. thing. I've only done that for. A- I've only done that like twice, where I've meditated for like th- more than 30 minutes, like and and, and it's better. That's flowing. tough. Yeah, but I want to I want to be able to do that and just sit down and like be able to erase everything from my mind and clear my mind cuz I I struggle with that right now. But that's what I struggle bro, every- That's when I was getting great sleep and I was just fucking yeah, I was I, you know what I mean? I was I was on people. it, bro. I was on it and I was like legit like on time at work, bro, and I was just fucking doing. I was reading every day. I was finishing books like in, a, in in like three days, bro. I was reading like two books a week and shit. Like that's when I was on my shit, and I was bald, bro. That's when I first went bald. I felt like that's I, what I'm saying. I felt like I became mad wise then. Oh, then so you see, I I feel like myself too. I can look back at a time where I was better. I feel like I was better than I am right now. Mm-hmm. When it's not true, because if we're really getting better every day, I don't have the perspective I had back then. then yeah. Now. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I'm obviously better in mindset, but maybe not better in, in action. Where I want to be able to be better, not just in growth as an individual, but as a per- person. Like, somebody looks at me, and they're going to be like, yo, okay, this is a high-working high, high working individual, bro. This man does what he wants to do, and when he says he wants to accomplish some goal, he accomplishes that goal. And that's where I want to be. That's my goal. And my fuel, bro, is every day I wake up, and I look at that person that I want to be, and I have to... I have to, you know, take the steps. Bro. That's fucking beautiful, I don't know bro. What the ste- I don't know what the steps are right now. Every day I'm asking, like, yo, what are the right steps for me to get truly get to where I want to be? Mm-hmm. I'm Every day I'm thinking about a plan, thinking about a plan, thinking about a plan. But, you know, that's just part of the, part of the plan is to just keep thinking about a plan. That's not. That's so, what like, uh, be, what, what you said is, like, you envision that person that you, that you see and you want to be. Uh, it reminded me of uh, uh, Matthew McConaughey. When he when he won an award, he was like, um, he was like, one day some lady like came up to me, and asked me like, uh, who's my hero? And he said, uh, my hero is myself. Um, Ten years from now, 
And then he got to he ten years happened, and then she asked him, "Okay, like ten years have passed. Like, who's your hero?" And he was like, 10 years from now, that's my hero. The person I am is my hero." And um, he he says that like every 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 day, every every week, every year, he always says like, uh, "My hero is myself." Ten years from now, and so it, it it keeps him motivated to keep growing because he knows he'll never get to that goal. But since he's gonna. Since he always is like, oh, I want to, uh, my, my hero is myself 10 years from now, it, it motivates him to keep going. You know what I mean? And I think, like, uh, similar to, like, my goal is, like, I always tell you, like, oh, I want to be the best person ever, bro. Best person to ever yeah. live. And, like, I, yeah. that probably won't happen, bro. I probably won't. One, one, one that is subjective, like, who, how do you truly tell who the best person yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? But I always say, like, oh, I want to be the best human being I ever lived, right? Um, I always say that, and then... I mean. I mean, the, the the right answer, I guess not the right answer, but the answer somebody might give you is Jesus Christ, bro. So you want to be better than Jesus Christ? I mean, I, I don't want to say I want to be better than Jesus Christ, but I, like that's just my goal. Like, I want to be the best human being ever, bro. And okay. and I it's probably, like, I'll probably never get there, but, like, that's what motivates me every day. So, like... You will get there. Come on, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll probably, I don't know. I don't know. But like, but, like, you know what I mean? But, like, it's like... It's like similar to Matthew McConaughey or similar similar to what you were saying where it's like a thing where like it's just going to keep going. You know what I mean? It's endless. Yeah. So like because that's my goal, like, oh, I want to be the best person ever. I think like every day I'm like, OK, I, like do I do I fucking uh, get drunk and wavy and fucking just chill or do I do this podcast or do I fucking party and fucking do all this shit? And you know what I mean? Get, do some shenanigans. Yeah, do some, some girls. Do, yeah, do some you know, nonsense or do I, <laughs> <laughs> or do I, you know, get some sleep and go to the gym, bro. Or like whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and like, that's how I like evaluate my life. And then I'll, and then I'll be like, okay, like I've been picking my job and lack of sleep, you know what I mean? Cause I can't fucking sleep over my health. And because of this, I'm, I'm kind of chubby now, you know what I mean? So like, how can I fix that? That's how I see my life all the time. Like, that's how I want to grow and, and, and just, Yo, that reminded me of uh, of uh, what you said. Reminded me of from from a Kendrick song, bro. Pride, or he's like, if I if I don't remember what it's like. It's like if he if he's in the if I was to make the right decisions, basically, I would choose I would choose work over girls. I would choose. Mm. Uh, hold on, let me. But like, stuff the th like the that. thing about that is that like we're human, bro. Like we we'll, like girls are are attracts us bro you know what i mean it's it's fun bro it's it's amazing to engage with like women bro or other people you know what i mean and, like you could do nonsense like you know what i mean you could have sex and shit so like it's just like it's something like that see like, this is what it is right here i got you i got you okay he says see in a perfect world i'll choose faith over riches i'll choose work over bitches i'll make schools out of prisons i'll take all the religions and pull them all in one service just to tell them we ain't shit but he's been perfect world yo okay and yo th that shit hits bro that does because i'm does. like hit yo, me. no bullshit i got like tingles bro on my body bro because you know what every day you you're faced with a choice like that where i i, I could either do this or i could do that i could do what i think is going to be fun or I, what i think is going to be productive and you come to that choice, and sometimes, you know, you do choose that. I want to do the what's fun and not maybe won't be productive. Mm. But I think the, the way that I'm going to change and be a better person is that when I come to those choices, I, or I try to choose more, maybe like 75% of the time, I choose the more productive thing, where I maybe instead of playing, playing on my Switch or playing card, I read a book. And it's a, or instead of watching, watching a show on Netflix, I, I do a workout or something like that. You know, I, that that's just like my plan to get to where I want to be. Because mm. that's what you really got to so, do is make a plan. This uh, this conver this conversation like is similar to like I had a conversation with uh, Alexis, bro, Omi, um, and I remember one day I was like I forgot what we were talking about, but essentially like we were at the barber shop and there's tiles on the floor, and he was talking about like the way life is is like decision making and like sometimes like like he's like life is not straight, it's not a straight arrow, you know what I mean. Uh, True. And and he was talking about how like you know you're gonna be walking in life and he was walking through the tiles and he was saying and then you know how like like uh, on floors it's like black and white tile you know what I'm talking about yeah yeah so he was yeah. like he was like and you're gonna be faced with like a choice where you could do like a, a negative thing or like or like a, a thing that won't be the best for you for your life but like it's mm -hmm. that choice or you could say no you know what I mean you could you could be chilling you could be chilling and then all of a sudden like oh like 
yo, there's cocaine in the in the in the party, bro. Like the, everyone's doing it. Do I do the cocaine? Like it, it, you know what I mean? Oh, it looks fun. Everyone's doing it. Should I do it or should I? But I know it's it's bad, bro, and it's addictive. This and that. So take the take the the, the other path. You know what I mean? That's how he explained it. Uh, he didn't use those examples, but essentially that was what he was saying. Like. That's how life is. Like he's saying that, like what you know, he was talking about like yeah. faith. Like when you're walking yeah. with faith, bro, uh, you're gonna be faced with like sin, bro, and then and then you're gonna come to a path, and you're gonna be like, oh shit, like this looks like fun, or like yo, do you know, oh like yo, this 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 girl is like you know, like whatever, like do I do that or do I just chill? You know what I mean? Like blah blah, blah. and like I don't know, it just reminded me of like that, the path to take. Like mm-hmm. do you take. Good or bad, like it's not doesn't have to be negative or positive, but like, do you be productive or do like that's that's life, bro. It's decisions, bro. L- literally, life is decision making with the time that you have, bro. Like, what the fuck do you decide to do, bro? You know what I mean? What do you decide to do? Me, I'm deciding to talk with my boy on this podcast. Boom, right here. yeah, exactly. My room's a mess. Like, and 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 we the best. That's what that's what economics is, bro. Like, economics is legit. Humans, bro, the study of humans, bro, and, and their decision making, bro. Right? And that's where I got that. Yeah. That's where I got that from, where we have an you know um an infinite amount of ideas, but we have a limited amount of time. That's where I got that from. Mm-hmm. I got that from a crash course uh economics uh episode or whatever. But like mm-hmm. but like yeah, they, and, and I'm like, yo, that shit fucking hit me, bro. Like it was like Wow, bro, that shit's crazy. I never thought of it like that. And it's legit. That's what life is, bro. You're faced with decisions all the time. Two roads diverge in a yellow wood, bro. Boom. Robert Frost, bro. He's a fuck. Robert Frost. Yeah, Robert Frost. And then, like, bro, like, it, it's been, that's legit the beast. Bro. Yeah, he's a fucking beast. And that's what's been said from the beginning of time, bro. It, it's legit. What the fuck are you deciding to do? And then, the, and then what comes is, what are you willing to sacrifice, right? What are you willing to sacrifice? That's true. So like, there's no such thing as nothing for something. Yeah. So like, for example, uh, Gabriel Iglesias, right? Funny dude, Mr. Fluffy, bro. Fluffy, bro. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about? The comedian. Mm, so yeah, yeah, all right. So he's Iglesias fucking. Is. He's fucking funny, bro. And and he's all his specials are great, right? And he's a uh, he's a yeah. top tier comedian, right? But he sacrificed not not going to his mom's funeral. He sacrificed mm. not. Having a, a great lot of family time. Yeah, he sacrificed a lot of family time. He he talks about on the um, the church of what's happening now. The the uh, the Joey Diaz podcast. He talks yeah. about how he became the guy that f- instead of going to the party, he was just mailing the checks, bro. You know what I mean? Mm. Instead of instead of going to the happy birthday party, he was buying a postcard, bro, putting some money in it, and saying happy birthday, bro. Because he he sacrificed being a goat in 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 comedy. Right, he want he rather do comedy. Well, he didn't sacrifice that. He sacrificed. He sacrificed family time, time to be family to time be a to great be that, a, a yeah. great comedian, right? And that and I'm like, damn. So like, I always ask myself, like, am I what the fuck am I willing to sacrifice? You know what I mean? Like, what are you willing like, to sacrifice? Am I am I like and am I willing to sacrifice like not seeing my mom, um, not seeing my brother to make lots of money and be, and, and and become like successful in the bank, right? Let's say like I don't know, an opportunity came and like they were like, "Oh, I'm going to give you fucking 250k starting off uh to but you have to move to Cali, bro." You got to go, "Let's move to Cali, dog. Where are we nah, going?" No, nah, no, you know what I mean, but like but then but then like am I willing to sacrifice like not seeing my brother like we're bringing up to you making 250k. What are you talking about? Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Like I I don't know. I don't know. I'm just brainstorming here, but like it's it's brainstorming, yo. You brainstorming a good life. Let's go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we're at the Cali. Nah, nah, but you know what I'm saying though? Like it's what are you willing to sacrifice, bro? And like for me, like family, bro, means a lot to me, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like I I I, I love my family, bro. And and there's no there's nothing better, bro, than So I, I feel like I feel like there's there's tiers of like things that you find more important in your life, and sometimes work might might overcome like be at the top be the top tier, but that changes throughout life. Like for me, like throughout this quarantine, I I went you know there was a time where I was just like, all right, I got a lot of time. This is where I gotta think, 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 think. And I sat down and I started thinking. Well, one, I start I split up my life into basically five things that are important to me, which are family. Um, okay. health, okay. knowledge, okay. work, okay. and fun. All right. Those five. five. Those are those are the five. And did you I, then did I you se- break them into percentages of what yeah, you're gonna? Yeah, that's fun? what I. Okay. 
But so what I did was I at every age I did twenty twenty five or I did twenty and I just wrote down how what the percentages were at the time. Then twenty five, thirty, thirty five, forty, forty five. Okay, you know up to like up to eighty. I haven't I didn't fill out everything, but I just know that one like right now maybe my focus is on work. I have maybe forty percent of my time is going to work, but I'm hoping by the time I'm sixty, it's maybe maybe sixty percent of my time family, thirty percent of my time is for knowledge, ten percent for fun, and I don't have to work at all. I I, I could be redi- like that's, the numbers are going to be shifted by then, but I'm hoping like my my average time is like I'm thirty three percent is with my family. Okay, that's just how I break it up. I it, that's just like you know the tears of what you find are important in your life and what, what dictates what you is going to di- dictate what makes what decisions you make in your life. And it too. also is going to dictate what's what you're willing to sacrifice at the end. You know what I mean? That's true. Um, yeah, it's, it's crazy. So that, it's crazy. That's bro. an easy, that's an easy, I see. And then I said, I feel like that's an easy way to know what you want in life. When you look, when you sit down and think about, all right, what do I want for myself? And, once you know what you want for yourself and what type of person do I want to be, once you figure out those types of things, what those types of things that'll help you when you're decision making. So this this stuff, kind of stuff is important too. Just thinking about all this kind of crap. Yeah, definitely. No, I guess it's not crap. I guess it's not crap. Nah, but like yeah, de- definitely thinking about your life and then, and then breaking it down, bro. You know what I mean? And I I asked you earlier this week. I was like, bro, what's your five year plan? What's your ten year plan? Right? Because I, yeah. I just wanted I wanted us to I wanted us to be thinking about our lives bro and where do we see each other where do we see you know ourselves going bro you know what i mean and um i don't i see me going up bro yeah like i definitely like hopefully like i i de- no 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 it's happening bro it's happening bro no i mean hopefully because you have to uh, like with, with faith bro hopefully like with faith oh, yeah, like, yeah, i have yeah. faith that i'm going to get there yeah yeah so like I forgot who told me this, but like, uh, what got like faith? So like, someone explained like I, I was like, oh, like how do you have faith, right? Like why, like faith, faith is tough, bro. I feel because I, I like for for me and you, I feel like the person I know that has a lot, a lot of faith is, is Alexis, bro. I mean, we brought him up like the third time right here. We got to like tag her. This is yeah, like, yeah, the yeah. Alexis yeah. show. <laughs> but but I feel like somebody that we know that has a lot of faith is uh, is Alexis. Yeah. And he, when he told me his story, when I was in the shop. And he was cutting my hair like three years ago or whatever. In in my ear, you know how he is. In yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. It's more than he's just like, a cut, Zzz. ladies and gentlemen. Yo, yo, bro, bro. This shit's crazy, bro. Let me tell you. Sto- <laughs> Zzz. Let me tell you. Yeah, story, yeah, yeah. That's how he it's is. It's perfect, bro. Yeah. And he yeah. was telling me his story, and he's like, "Yo, now I have I have faith in God that He's gonna bring me to where I want to be." Mm. And and I would I was sat there and I was like, "Yo, I want that for myself to be able to have faith that." I'm going to get to where I want to be because I was so stressed that I wasn't going to get to where I want to be that it was like taking up my mind mm. and all I was was stress. Someone, so yeah. someone, I don't know if it was you or Alexa, someone, someone explained to me like faith is the, is having confidence in, of what is not known. You know what I mean? That's what okay. faith is. So like, I mean, that's, we that's don't true. know, that's true. we don't know, right? We don't know that we're going to be successful, bro. We don't. We really don't. We just know what's happening now and what's happening today, right? And what's happened today. Same thing with, same thing with people in religion. They don't have... They, they don't have... They don't know if God's truly there and But they have faith, bro. They have... Once you die, but they have faith that he's he's there and he's looking over your shoulder all the time. Yeah, yeah. And and and, and, how, and that explanation, bro, like, I was like, wow, that's that's crazy. That's a that's an amazing explanation. I, I forgot who said it. Uh, shout out to whoever fucking said it. But, like... I was, you know what I mean? I was just like, I was like, wow. I always thought like faith, like I always thought faith was like, uh, I always defined it similar to like a belief, bro. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I believe this. You know what I mean? Oh, I have faith. Like I believe in like God or something, you know? I didn't think of it as like, like the, bro, the confidence, the, having the confidence of what you don't know. That shit's crazy, bro. Like, cause I think about that all the time. I'm always like, oh. Well, see, yeah, I, I feel, I mean, belief and faith go hand in hand. Belief is what you believe. And then faith is believing that shit with your soul, bro. With your, mm. with all of your being. Yeah, is believing it that that no matter what, that this shit is true. Yeah. So like, I'm- and you know what? I have a belief right now, bro. I believe my rooms and mess is gonna be big, bro. Me too. I, and I have I have faith that it's it's just gonna grow, bro, and be amazing. We're bro. just gonna keep going, keep getting better, bro. Yeah, bro. Better than ever because we're always getting better. Boom. That that's the yo, no bullshit. That's probably some of the greatest shit you've ever said, bro. And you said it nonchalantly too. By accident. By bro. accident. By accident. Bro. We were trying to come up with an intro and then you were like, bro, Ladies and gentlemen, we're we back. Rec- well, this was before we even recorded an episode, bro. Oh, really? It was yeah, it was before we even recorded an episode where we were just fucking around and I was like, 
Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? We're back better than ever. Oh, we're always getting yeah, better. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I roasted you, bro. And then I said it, yeah. right? Yeah, but it's, it just rolls off the tongue, Yeah, it's bro. smooth, bro. Like, I, Yeah, like, and it's just like, bro, I'm telling you, man, like, no joke. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know if. I don't know if anyone sees the vision, bro. I know you definitely see the vision, but like, bro, I, we see the vision. Yeah, bro. like we see the vi- like. No, nah, we're like this, bro. You know what I mean? We're like this, bro. We're 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 intertwined, bro. We know we see the vision, bro. We're we're building the cat. We're building up to the castle that we see already. I th- I feel like some of our friends around us see see part of the vision too. Yeah, bro. I think slowly it's growing, bro, and showing, bro. Like it's it's just fucking awesome. It's awesome, bro. And like, man, like, oh, like, bro, it just gets me excited, bro, because like, I think like. It's going to be, so I think that the conversations we're having is great, bro, right? But I think, like, when we're fucking doing this five years from now and we watch these shits, we're going to fucking cringe and we're going to just laugh, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I feel like, I feel like I'm going to be like, yo, that kid's a genius. Really? That's what I'm going to say, yeah. Really? Because I, and then I'm, and then I, and then I'm going to talk, I'm, I'm probably going to be able to be saying the same shit right now that I'm saying back and then, bro. Really? I feel like 50 50, because I feel like some of my beliefs will change, but my core, core beliefs will always stay like, the same. They will always stay the same. Similar, like Gary Vee has been saying the same shit yeah. for years. Like, like legit, bro. Gary Vee literally always makes those clips on on his shit where it's like 2008, he's saying something, and then 2000, like 16, he's saying the same exact thing. Yeah, yeah. It's all. It's always the oh, like why are you buying the Gucci belts to impress people you don't even like? To but that's blah. true, bro. I feel like I feel like that's 50 50 because I feel like some people like designer clothes, yeah, bro. Like yeah, you know what like, I mean. Some I, people, I know people. I I know people that like. It's like a, a metric of how successful they are right there. Instead of the money, it's the material things that they get to get with the money. Yeah. So so maybe you you buy you buy a, a nice car that you want. It wanted, shows like the hard work that, they, that they've that it they've done. It shows the hard work that you got there. It's a material thing. You didn't buy that car to flex for somebody else. You bought that car because you're like, yo, I wanted to get here to the point where I wanted this, like where I could get this car, and I got to this point. So I'm gonna swipe my car, bro. I'm gonna get that car. I'm write that check, bro. I'm gonna get that. For me right now, it's a private jet, bro. I want a private jet. For why? For no reason, just to have it. For, Bro, because if I could go anywhere I want to go, anytime I want to oh, go, Oh, true, true. And then, yeah. Travel the and, world. And, and be that's like, one Yo. of your goals, to travel the world, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Travel so the like, world, bro. I, I want to, yeah, like, so you want to travel the world to, like, just, like, travel, bro? Or like, you want to travel the world to, like, to see, grow and just... See, see, one, to one to travel the world to see what's, like, what's different in, in different cultures. Mm. And I, the world is the world, and it's been here for millions, billions, millions and billions of years. And it has things that show the, the age of the earth, so that you can see the history through mm. through travel and shit like that too. Yeah, so I have I have a, like the reason why I want to travel similar to you. Like I just wanna, I want to literally travel to, to learn, bro. Learn things that I I don't know. Like so, like a surreal moment in my life was, well, when we went to Las Vegas, bro. It, it, bro, like, uh, it, like I remember I was there when you had the moment. Yeah, like it was just it was. It's weird, bro. Like, who took the kid out of Chelsea? Yeah, like I was like, who took the fucking kid out of Chelsea? Like, it was crazy. Like the whole experience, bro. Like, like yeah, we were partying and stuff and whatever, you know, doing stupidity. But like, this is what I'm saying. Like, it was like I never been on a plane, and I never traveled outside of New England, and then to to hop on a plane, bro, and to enjoy the plane ride, and and like, bro, like. Uh, everyone was like, oh, you're not going to be able to sleep. It's going to be, like, scary. Bro, like, I felt, like, so, like, liberated, bro. Like, I, I slept like a baby on the plane because I was like, yo, this is crazy. This is, like, surreal. And then when I made it to Vegas, I was like, wow, this is amazing. And I was just like, wow, the MGM Grand. Like, I, I've been fucking watching so many fights that were, are in this in this casino, but when we're fucking staying here. The whole experience was crazy. And, like, I had, like, and I was like, wow, if I could experience that by going to Vegas, bro, where the whole point of it was to fucking party for your 21st, right? I was like, yo, mm. imagine going to, like, China, bro. Imagine going to, like, yeah. and that's what inspired me to go around the world. Like, uh, that, that, well, where I want to go around the world. I haven't gone yet. I'm going soon. But, like, you know what I mean? And, and like, yeah. Yo, bro. you know what? Even even going who like took that, the fucking that, kid that, out that, of Chelsea, bro? That that trip to that trip to Vegas, bro, where you got to see a little little section of the world for only a couple of days. Even that is more fuel for you to be like, yo, I got to see this little thing. I want to see more, bro. And it's more fuel to do even more shit. Yeah, like, damn, bro. And bro. like, yo, I'm telling you, this shit just goes crazy, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are ever uh, in Las Vegas, please, like, yo, take take like a moment of your day and just drive out to the Hoover Dam. Like, I tell you, like, I looked out 
And like, I why just, would you go? Why, why would you go from Vegas? Maybe if you're going straight, to, just visit the Hoover Dam, bro. You don't have to be from like, going to Vegas. No, like the Hoover Dam's in Vegas, bro. I mean, it's in Nevada. That's what I'm saying. But the, how long was that drive? Was that shit mad long? It was mad long. But all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, bro. Like, visit the Hoover Dam, like. In your lifetime. Like, cause bro, I'm telling you, that's the moment where like the breeze was hitting me. We were in the middle of the of the of like the bridge, bro. And and me and Jerry we were just chilling. And I was just like, yo, who that's where it came. I was like, who took the kid out of Chelsea, bro? Like I, like a, a, like a fucking a, a small city kid like me, bro, you know, didn't have much, bro, growing up, and then is in fucking Vegas, bro, rocking some shades, bro, wearing the flower shirts, bro. And just fucking chilling, bro. You know what I mean? It was, it was, it was just surreal, bro. And and that's that's a goal of mine. I want to travel because I want to experience that all the time, bro. Like, and I just want to learn new things, bro. Like, I learned so fucking much. Like, it, it was crazy, bro. It was just a crazy experience, bro, for me, like personally. Damn, man, man, it's been a good conversation, bro. It's fire, bro. I f- I feel like it's a it's a good time, bro. Oh man, that's a sad day, bro. I'm I'm excited, bro. It's a sad time, ladies and gentlemen. But yo, it's been it's, it's been a it's been a smooth conversation. Good conversation. I think I think uh, I got to catch up with my boy, and it's been fucking fun, man. Talk some good shit. Yo, honestly, I forgot this shit was even here, bro. I was just talking. Yeah, to you I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy, man. But yo, let, let them know what, what's up, bro. Let them know, bro. Hello, everybody. You're tuned into the messy room, yeah. and now. It's the messy moment. Boom. Messy moment. Messy moment. Messy, messy moment. The messy moment, ladies and gentlemen, is a time where we just reflect and go and think back to the amazing conversation that we had. And we just, you know, if, if you know, we, we talk about like what was our favorite part or something or an idea that we just want to expand on. It's just a, it's a time for reflection and, and you know. Yeah, so you right. want me to go first or you? Yeah, I want you to go first. Okay, no. so my messy moment is just, so like in this conversation, like it was a lot of thinking and just talking, bro, with my boy. And I, I came to a point where I was talking about how like, oh, yo, I remember there was a time where I was meditating for like 30 minutes and I was on my shit and I was doing everything right. And um, I just want to, that's like, uh, like it, it opened my eyes to just me and, and how I've, how I see myself and how, and how I want to grow as a person. And I feel like uh, I don't want to like go backwards. You know what I mean? I don't want to be like, I don't want to be that guy where I'm like, Oh, the good old days when I was that guy, I want to be mm-hmm. that guy that I was where I felt confident in the decisions I was making and the moves I was making. But I want to be that guy times 20. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I think definitely going forward, uh, I want to just focus on myself and just focus on growing Victor Rodriguez as a person and um okay th- yeah that just opened my eyes to to that bro you know what i'm saying all right that's just my messy right. moment beautiful bro beautiful um my messy moment bro is uh the the part where i was talking about how i i was writing down the percentages and shit talking about like Yo, your life what who yeah like who i who how i figure out who i am Mm-hmm. I want to just like emphasize that that part the part of where we talked about that because I feel like that's an important thing to do for everyone. Okay. Like so I I do it because I want to know who I am and what I can do okay. so that I know what I want to do out of, for myself so that I can help make decisions so that I can do what I want to do so that I can get to where I want to be. So I feel like knowing and thinking about asking yourself questions and finding out who you are and what you want yourself will help you get to where you want to be, and it's a very valuable thing. So beautiful, bro. Everybody should do that, That's or at beautiful. least I mean, I think I think you personally, suggest it. Yeah, you yeah, should yeah, do you, that. You're, suggest, you're great suggest, suggest. If you wanna, if you wanna better yourself, know yourself. Boom. You gotta know who you are to be, to to become better. That's just fire, bro. That's that's facts, bro. It's facts, man. And beautiful shit. Beautiful shit. So, ladies and gentlemen, it was an amazing conversation. Oh, as always, Jason, thank you, bro, for the fucking amazing talk, bro. But, yo, yo let's call this a wrap. Follow us on, oh, yeah, 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 for follow sure. Follow us on the gram, bro. Follow us on, on Instagram. Gram, follow us on Twitter, Twitter. Our Messy Rooms. Our Messy Rooms. Our, at our, our Messy, messy rooms. rooms. Ladies and gentlemen, like, subscribe, and comment some great shit on our this. Messy rooms. Shut the fuck up. Jesus. Like I said. Jesus. Like, That's a, uh, the album's kind of trash, not going to lie. You don't know. Check you later. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, like, subscribe, (laughs) and, you know, comment some great shit. Check you later.
Check you later.